Hello YouTube, this is Menji. So a while ago I got into the Japanese uh, form of bonsai called kokedama in which you wrap the plant inside a moss ball that has a center made of um, clay, soil, and this thing called akadama. Well the difficult thing about planting orchids inside akadama is um, since it's an epiphyte it prefers a lot more um, for air circulation around the roots. Um, so what you need for the orchid kokedama are some orchid media. I use the Better Grow uh, Special Orchid uh, mixture which has big chunks of um, bark and quite uh, big chunks of perlite and uh, charcoal. Um, we want to provide some extra aeration here so try to get the one uh, that's not too soft you know there's the very fibrous type that looks like you know that looks somewhat like this you know it's very flexible you want to try to avoid these because the kokedama is going to be sitting in water for quite a long time so anything like that will break down really fast um, so you want this type just like the more bark-like chunks. Next, uh, you will need some sphagnum moss. What I have here are Chilean moss that have soaked in the water and I squeezed out the extra moisture so it's just wet enough but it's not dripping wet. Um, you can use New Zealand moss or whatever you can get in your local um, nursery. This is some type of uh, mesh I got off of a uh, garlic packaging so uh, just so you can hold all these bark together and a pair of scissors and some fishing line. What I did is I tied a knot at the end of the mesh so uh, essentially you're sort of creating a pocket um, and then you just stretch them out a little start putting in some of the uh, bark chips So essentially, we're uh, creating a very aerated center for the kokedama ball, um, in which we can we would avoid any um, bacterial growth or rotting inside the center of the kokedama ball. The next step will be to melt the orchid first loosely on the ball, so it will be easier later on to uh, put the moss around it. There you have it, an orchid kokedama. So a uh, normal kokedama will have a layer of live moss on top of that sphagnum moss. Um, I decided to skip that step because in my climate it probably wouldn't work out too great. Um, but if you would like to have that you know, lively green moss growing on top of your kokedama, you can always you know, go to your backyard, dug up some live moss and just you know, tie it down or you can buy um, this uh, Kyoto moss bores in which you can spread over the moss and wait uh, some time for it to grow all of the moss bow. It's very attractive, um, but yeah, I didn't do it because it probably wouldn't work out for me. So um, yeah, and you can place the kokedama in a dish or you can hang it in midair. Uh, you can you know, mount it on a wall, I don't know. There's so many ways you can mount this thing. Um, I decided to place it in a shallow dish because I just don't want to deal with the mess after watering this. I didn't use the most attractive orchid, as you see, as because I mounted this orchid before and I took it off the mount, you know, it had this droopy leaf. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.